Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to morph ships in After Effects and in the process, we are going to animate something like this. So let's jump into After Effects. So here is the project file of Illustrator that I have imported it in After Effects. So I have basically created few ships in Illustrator and that I have imported it and this is a line segment which will act as a string over here. And these are a few circles in each of its corners. So let's lock the background. Now we're going to convert any of the shape which we are going to start with, convert it into a shape layer. So we're going to convert this circle into a shape layer. Let's rename it. And let's delete this illustration layer. So let's Turn off the visibility of other ships for now and let's work with the circle. So first of all, let's animate the bounce animation. So we are going to open the position property and split the dimensions. We are only going to work with Y axis. Let's jump on to next 12 frames and pull it above somewhere around here. Again, jump on to next 12 frames and let's copy and paste the initial keyframe and move the work area end over here to play it in loop. Of course, it will not go look that good because the keyframes are in linear keyframes. Let's turn it into easy keyframes and let's jump into the graph editor. So let's change this one to value graph and here we are going to change this curve and make this corner stiffer like this and this one as well. So what it means is at this particular point it is going to accelerate and at this point it is going to deaccelerate. So it's flat that means it's deaccelerating and then again it's slowly accelerating till this point. So let's change the animation. Yeah, it's looking pretty nice. So now we are going to add loop expression in this particular axis. All right, now Let's convert this square layer of the illustration layer into the shape layer. And we are going to start with our first shape morph. Select the circle and we are going to morph this shape. So for that open the path property. And at this point when it is up over here at the maximum height put a keyframe on path. And at this point we are going to open the path property of this square and copy select this path property and simply copy by control plus c and paste it over here and it has converted into a square right now let's turn off the square or rather delete it we don't need it anymore so as you can see this is how you can morph ships now you can also add some in between keyframes of the morph by adding just moving these bezier handles here and there. Even though it's looking pretty nice, this particular morph is looking pretty smooth. So this is not necessary over here. So like this you can add in between inch morph shapes as well. So right now we are going to morph this square into a different shape as well. So let's jump into the next 12 frames, put a path property over here and then again jump onto next 12 frames and let's change this shape into this polygon. So right now it's not visible. So let's turn off the opacity a bit. And let's add some fill effect. All right, so now we are going to simply trace this path. So let's add an anchor point over here. To activate this tool, you can come over here and 
get this add vertex tool or mm -hmm. rather you can use the shortcut key when you are in a selection tool simply press Control plus alt all right so now let's change the in between keyframes okay so it's looking smooth so we don't need to add more in between keyframes over here as well so right now we are going to again morph ships to a different ship so right now we can delete the polygon and let's turn on the star tool decrease the opacity to 60 percent add again add the fill effect over here now we are going to jump on to next 12 frames then again jump on to next 12 frames here we are going to morph the ship so let's move this anchor point over here this one over here and this one somewhere around here this one we are going to move it over here and here we need to add some vertex so we are going to move it over here remember we are moving this particular anchor points with the help of the selection tool so remember that and if you want to add some curve over here you can do that as well you have to just add the bezier handles for that you can use this particular tool you can get it over here and if you just simply click and drag you can make a curve like this but for this one we don't need a curve so we are going to simply add it like this and also add another vertex over here as well and put it exactly at this point okay let's delete the star and let's check our animation okay so here i think we need to add some in between keyframes so here we are going to move this vertex we can even make it curve a bit to make it smooth let's add more in betweens over here as well and let's check the animation i think we can add another in between over here as well so let's check it now all right so after that we are going to jump on to next 12 frames put the path property over here again jump on to next 12 frames and we are going to copy and paste the initial path over here and right now if we see the whole thing will be in loop but we need to add some in between over here as well so we are going to make the edges a bit smoother because the uh, the next shape we are morphing is with a circle add another in between over here as well all right so let's check our animation we are also going to add some rotation as well so we are going to open the rotation property put a keyframe over here and then jump over here where it is touching the ground and just completing the whole cycle of the bounce we are going to add a full rotation to it let's easily use the keyframes and let's add 
a loop expression. Alright, so this made the animation even better. Now we can also animate the string the same way. So let's convert the string into the shape vector layer. Let's delete this illustration layer. And then open the path property. Put a keyframe over here. And also we are going to add anchor point over here. So for that I would like to turn on this reference so that it is properly exactly at the center. And also let's turn on a ruler and put a ruler over here and another one over here. So let's add a vertex at this point and we're going to pull it down over here and let's make the edge a bit curved. Let's push it down a bit. And after that, when it is up from this particular uh, string, the string is going to overshoot a bit. So let's jump on to next eight frames or seven frames and we're going to move a small overshoot a very small and then again jump on to five frames and we're going to settle this whole thing let's check it And we are going to repeat this process for the other bounce as well. So at this point, the shape has not touched the string. So this will be completely straight. And at this point, it will be curved. So we are going to copy and paste it over here. We can bring it down a bit and then again add some overshoot. All right, so let's check our animation. So that is how you can morph ships in After Effects. So do try it on your own and do let me know if you have any doubt regarding the lesson. So that is it for this lesson. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down. I will be happy to help you out. And if you're here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.